Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, the 7th of February. <coughs> it's 10 past 10 in the evening, and I do apologise for the cough. I've not been well since last Friday. Getting better though, slowly. <laughs> anyway, uh, this video is going to be quite short. I'm going to, you know, talk about why I've been sick and whatnot. And I've actually got four items from Timu here. Randomly bought items. I don't. Well. One of these I bought for purpose. <coughs> um, I'm still waiting on two items though, which were in a different shipment. Which is why they haven't arrived at the same time. Uh, but I'll explain all that when we get to these. I'll just talk about uh, <laughs> this sickness. Is it's a cough mostly. I mean, yeah, I have had the dribbly nose, the sore throat, the common bug, because I did do a COVID test last Friday when this all started and that came back negative. Um, but yeah, last Friday, well actually it was Thursday night, a cough started, um, which got progressively worse throughout Friday until the evening when I could barely stop coughing. And the fits were so hard, they were actually making me wretch and want to throw up. Um, which actually made me think whooping cough at first. Which is not a very pleasant virus to get. Been there, done that. When I was back, actually I was in primary school when I first had that. <coughs> um, yeah, there is vaccinations for it. My mum was actually convinced that you can't get whooping cough again if you've already had it once, but apparently you can, but the chances are slim. Um, yeah, because I was reading up on it and apparently the uh, yeah, immunisation against it will wear off as the years go on. But, uh, yeah, it's not that, <laughs> thankfully. Um, but it was so bad I did go to see the duty doctor who, because even my mum thought maybe I've got a nasty chest infection just because of the amount of crud I was coughing up as well. Um, but you know, he'd done a full check, temperature, wedged in my ear roll. Uh, oh yeah, blood pressure. Heart rate, he had to listen. Chest felt cl oh, sounded clear, he said he couldn't hear anything on there. To be honest, apart from rattling a little bit when I breathed in and out because of the crap on my chest, it felt fine anyway. So I, I honestly didn't think it was at least not a bacterial infection. Pardon me, despite that, he still gave me a course of antibiotics, but I think that's because I'm diabetic. Thus, at a higher risk. Um, because, you know, doctors don't like using antibiotics unless they have to. Because you can, um, a lot of bacterial infections can actually develop, you know, <coughs> immune <coughs> immunity to it, believe it or not. So they try to, uh, use antibiotics as little as possible. But, uh, yeah, I've got two days worth left. Isn't that true? Um, I had a friend of mine, Wolfie Thay, he uh, helped me out Friday and Saturday, bless him. Bought me a few bits over. I've got some strepsils here that he got me. In an attempt to at least help the cough it didn't do anything for the cough, but it did help the sore throat, so that was good. I actually quite like these ones. These are the honey and lemon. Same flavour as the cough syrup I bought today, because I had to concede defeat and get something to try and help it. And calm it down. I just want something... <coughs> wanted something to calm it down enough, so I could actually get some sleep. I've also got these, but I think they're a bit too strong for my liking. Like a born, yeah, I can't say it without 
you know, thinking <coughs> to the advert. Sorry. I'm deafening you all with my coughing. Yeah, extra strong. Sugar free though. I might try another one of these before I go to bed, see if I can actually, uh, you know, finish the whole thing and not spit it out halfway through. Not even halfway through, actually. Yeah, I didn't think of that when I got them. I was just thinking, you know, I need something for the cough, so I'll get those as a backup. But the syrup does seem to be working. And it's um, Benelin. I went for the Benelin dry and tickly cough one. It's just what this is, is a annoying tickle. Right here. I thought I was going to cough again, I probably will. <coughs> Told you. <coughs> right. Um, yeah, so it's been a rough, what, five days, nearly seven days. Maybe seven days for up today. Now, I, I could tell, listening to my own voice, that I still sound a bit stuffy. Um, but like I said, it, I'm getting better. I think I said I'm getting better, I can't remember. I had to take um, a few takes at this video. <laughs> so I can't remember what I've said and what I haven't said now. Anywho, yeah, I'm doing that, but it has meant, you know, that I haven't been able to do videos for the LEGO channel. I actually had one already recorded, ready to go, which was good. And one for the gaming channel, which was also good, but I haven't been able to do any more this week. And to be honest, I'm still struggling with this one. I mean, the cough's not as bad, and it is slowing down again, now that the cough syrup is taking effect. So I literally took the cough syrup like five minutes before I put the camera on. I should have sat here for about 20 minutes really and let it properly kick in. But I was trying to time it. You know, so it's kicked in nicely, ready for when I want to go and get some sleep. I can't lay on my back because that'll set it off. Which is annoying because I've actually taken to... Uh, at least falling asleep on my back. I always wake up on my front though, it doesn't matter how I fall asleep, I could fall asleep on my left side, my right side, my back, upside down. Heck, I've even fell asleep sitting up in bed and I always find myself laying on my front, even when I fell asleep sitting up. Not all the time though. Sometimes I have uh, woken up still in a sat up right <coughs> position. <coughs> But yeah, <coughs> even then I found myself uh, on the front. I don't know why. It seems like my body just likes to uh, shift itself around and end up on its front. And yeah, I got some Tango and Dark Berry for a change. I don't know why, but ever since I've had this bug, I've just fancied fruity stuff. Fruity drinks, fruity flavoured this. I've got a couple of cartons of... Um, orange juice in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, I, I really do not know why. Yeah, I'm just going to pause the camera for a moment, bear with me. That's better, you wouldn't have want to uh, see me blow my nose, would you? Right. Fun fact. Uh, Friday night, between about four Five o'clock in the afternoon and midnight, I went through a whole roll of this. Blowing my nose. I was constantly blowing my nose and constantly coughing. That is all I did. Uh, and into Saturday, actually. I slowed down by Saturday. And I felt a little bit better Sunday. And then it sort of took a step back. I don't know how that makes sense, but it did basically take a step back because I had a sore throat which got better Saturday evening I was like but no Sunday evening I was like yay I'm getting better woke up Monday morning with a raging sore throat again I was like you I don't even know what to say without swearing <laughs> I was disappointed though anywho yeah so hopefully by this time next week I'll be feeling much better and be able to uh, put something better than this video together. Although I think my videos are much better than this anyway. I don't think I do that much of a good job. <coughs> I 
but I've not even put anything else up on eBay. I've got so much I want to do around this flat. I just haven't had the energy. If I haven't just randomly fell asleep either here or on the bed or in the bathtub, um, you know, I've just been resting at the PC. Right, so, Timu items. Um, I have to say, so far, I've not been that disappointed. No. With the sort of half a dozen or so items that I have purchased from the site. Now, the first one is actually down here and I bought this last year. And it was the uh, Toyota A86 brick kit. Can't really call it Lego because it's not Lego. And Lego is actually a brand, so... Fiat 500. I don't know why that's down there. So, I've got a couple of. I can't even remember what they are. I think they're just random marker lights because they were like one pound and some odd pence. Something really stupid. And another brick kit car like that. And I can't remember what it is without checking my two new order. But I bought those to qualify for a coupon. Because. Timu are very heavy on, you know, doling out special offers and coupons and things, you know, coupons for existing customers and special reduction offers for um, new customers and things. I see the adverts on Facebook all the time. I see them on the games I play on my mobile phone. Um, yeah. So I thought, you know what, I'll just buy it and qualify for a coupon and then get a few other bits. So that's exactly what I did. I, I'm pretty certain that these four items that I've got here actually cost me about 15 quid for the lot. So, first thing I'm going to show you is probably the most interesting thing. Now, I have no idea where I'm going to put this. I might actually stick it up at Mum's somewhere. A Wi-Fi camera. Now, this isn't actually that costly to buy it without a coupon. Um, I have to say, the, the build quality of it doesn't feel too bad. I've felt worse plastic, it feels adequate enough. It did come with screws to mount it up. You do need an app, because it is Wi-Fi, and guess what? You need to subscribe. Which is like 130 quid. <laughs> Now, unless I missed it, that didn't say that on the thing, but if all the features on this that it has actually work, I mean, this bit can rotate up and down, this bit rotates, um, it's got two-way speakers on it, it's got two-way audio on it, it looks like it's got, no, Vision's got like two different lots of LEDs on there, I can see some with a yellow phosphor on, which would probably say they're the white ones. The other ones are probably infrared for night vision. I don't know how well you can see the different LEDs on there. Um, but I have got the app. The app is free as well. That's how they get you with these, isn't it? They sell the camera quite cheap. They give you the app for nothing. And then to use all the features, you've got to bloody subscribe. I mean... It's got cloud storage, but it's also got a slot for a memory card under here, which I haven't got anything in. And a reset button as well. I don't know how weatherproof this would be. Like some effort has been made. I mean, it doesn't look like a bad unit, to be honest. And it did connect to my phone easy peasy, and the app was relatively easy to use as well. So, you know, if I want to, I, I don't. I'm, I'm hoping that that 130 quid would be like a year subscription and not a month. There's no way I'm paying that a month. A year? 
or maybe six months, something like that, maybe. Anyway, not content with that, I bought that as well. <laughs> That's because it was a tiny little thing. That's a Wi-Fi one as well. I do believe I need to get the app for that, so... But it's literally just a simple camera with a silly little stand that just clips on the bottom. And again, got an SD cards uh, <coughs> <coughs> socket on it. <coughs> Blah. Sorry. Yeah, there's nothing really. I've not looked into this one yet, so I can't really tell you much about it. It does feel um, like some pretty sturdy, robust plastic, actually. Right. Now this one I did buy because I just liked it and I want to use it in the bedroom. It's just a standard USB hub with the switches. These actually light up blue, of course, because everything's got to have a blue LED these days. Um, it does work. I mean, this was like, I think this was less than one pound fifty for this. Um, yeah, it really was not a great deal of cash One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ports. I don't know why they've got an odd number on there, but we've got seven. And they do work. You can put in a 5 volt adapter as well as plugging it in. But I bought it because we've got the individual switches. Which again, it works. The plastic doesn't feel, you know, top quality, but it does the job. The switches don't feel bad either, they feel good enough. So, yeah. Oh, actually has seven ports written on the end there. It's just the seven is in diamond, and the seven's at an angle like that, and that's why I didn't notice it. I'm sure that's what that is, unless my eyes are getting that bad. <laughs> I hope they're not getting that bad. Mind you, I've got a spec savers appointment on the 19th. Um, it's a shame it didn't come with like any sticky pads or anything to like stick this on a wall. Because that's, you know, I might get another one of these to use in here. Mind you, I've got one underneath the monitor. Excuse the crap on the desk, but I'm not sure this one. I got this from a friend actually. You know, it's got the high speed red ones as well. It's got four USB 3s and a two high speed. Apparently, the high, high speed charging ones. Little power button on the back, and it comes with a, <coughs> a USB 3 cable, which is what's connecting it to the PC. And I do actually use that. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes when I start talking, the throat starts scratching and that can trigger the cough as well. Right, last items. I have no idea, but these were like around about £5. I think that's why I bought them, because I want to know how these cheap, shitty ones were. Just some LED trailer lights. Well, I suppose you could put them on a custom vehicle or something, you know, you don't have to use them on a, a trailer. They sell them as a pair, but it's literally the exact same wire colours that come out of either side, so... You don't have the different colour for the left and right indicators like you would on an ordinary trailer, so you'd have to remember when you wired them up. But, I have tried them, and they do work. And even with a, I, I tried them through a couple of shitty six volt batteries that I stuck together to make twelve volts. So they they weren't that bright, but these batteries weren't that good. So, but having said that, they were still perfectly bright enough even with the shitty batteries. So, I mean, they're completely sealed. There's no taking these covers off. So. If they got smashed, you'd have to replace the whole unit. But again, a fiver for the pair. You're going to worry about that. 
You know, if you spent a fiver on them and they lasted six months, you just buy another pair for a fiver and stick them on. Uh, I mean, the plastic doesn't feel like it would put up with a hard impact, but... Pardon me, I think they're adequate enough. I can guarantee these bolts will rust within... Uh, Within two weeks of being on the vehicle or trailer, it look exactly like the same bloody uh, type of nut and bolt, or at least the same sort of metal used on cheap bicycle lights. I've got four LEDs in each side, as you can see. Oh, they're perfectly adequate. How Fulton. And I do believe that these wires do actually follow the UK wiring code anyway. That's your grand, the black. Which I think, actually in trailer wiring, the black. The white is the grand, I believe. It would be useful if you did get a little wiring diagram as well with these, but you don't. You just get the lights. But what I would do, if you're not sure on what colour does what, I do, because I've already tried it. Black is your ground, green is your tail light. I believe the yellow is your indicator and your red is your brake light. Which I think as far as those three colours go, that is actually correct. I think. I want to put two 6 volt batteries together now and just double check that. <laughs> now I've got time. I did have a piece of wire on here as well that I could do it with. Yeah, here we go. Mind you, this desk is not as messy as it was a few days ago. Just imagine at the height of this illness, you know, there's just dirty tissues and all sorts. It's bloody disgusting. <clears throat> The other thing is, I can't go over to Mum's while I'm like this. No, mainly because of my mum's own health problems. But she's got my sister there as well, and they don't want me talking too much about my sister's issues, but due to her health problems, I'm hope you know, it's too risky for me to go there. Which kind of sucks because I am missing going over there. Right. I don't even. So I don't mean black is the ground. Uh, well, that's, oh, that's, well, that's going to show up. Can't English! like that there. I need like three hands because I need one each to do the wires and then one to try and hold that because as soon as I try and move the other wires I'm using what bed wire is already there what you know how the wires came I haven't stripped any more off perhaps I should have yep yellow is the indicator Red, like I said, should be brake light. Is it brake light or is it tail light? Should be brake light. Is this one dimmer? Yeah, this one's dimmer. So I did get it right. See, I've tested both. I know both work. I'll tell you what, if you just wanted something cheap and cheerful just to get you out of a pickle. If perhaps you're only going to use the trailer a couple of times or something, then just grab those, wire them up, 
perhaps try and bodge one of the existing wiring, especially if like the uh, original units have been smashed or something. You know, you know it's not going to matter, is it? Or if you're going <coughs> to... Perhaps use them in an application where you know damn well they're likely to get broken repeatedly. Then you might want to uh, use the cheaper ones. Um, anyway, as soon as my other items arrive, apparently they're on the plane at 2.30 this morning. So I was looking at the Timu tracking. And uh, I believe every picks them up from this end because every other ones that bought these ones. Unless that'll go via Royal Mail as it's arriving via aeroplane. I don't know how long it actually takes a flight from China to here. It should be. It's been well over. It's been nearly 24 hours actually. In another uh, another four hours. Can't believe my brain just brained. <laughs> it's been the first time it's brained today actually. Right. And uh, my friend Wolfie 30, who was helping me out last Friday and Saturday, he's got the bloody thing as well now. He got sent home from work today. Oh, my ears keep popping. Especially that side. Yeah, he got sent home from work and they said, you know, stay off until Monday, so... <coughs> now, if that was in America, that made him stay at work. <laughs> in Britain? Nah, if you're sick, uh, well, you're that sick, you, you can go home and rest, you know. Because over here, in some... I don't know if you'll get sick pay all the time, but you can get a sick pay if you're off sick. I think you need a doctor's note or something. I don't know how it works. But I know you can get some some sort of pay if you're off sick. But that isn't a permanent thing either. That's only like a temporary thing. But my point is, we still have... I don't know whether to call them um, rights or luxuries. <laughs> Because from what I've seen on these American videos, employment sucks in America. You know? And I don't know if any of the texts that get read out are actually true, or if people are making them up. But if it's true, then some of these employers are complete assholes, basically. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I'd want... I don't think I'd want to uh, work. I think I'd rather go self-employed. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. So, which went on for a lot longer than I thought it would. I'm sure by now you've had a hot. Um, yeah. You have. <laughs> I'll try that again. I'm sure by now you've all had enough of listening to me hacking down your ear rolls. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll uh, 
We'll stave off from making any other videos until this cough is skedaddled and I'm feeling much better. I'm getting there, I'm feeling a bit more energetic at least. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Oh, don't forget, if you did like the video and you want to see more, if you want to see me buy more random cheap tat from Timu, I will gladly do that because I'm actually quite enjoying it. I have no freaking idea. I don't have a car or a trailer or anything, so I have no idea what I'm going to do with these bloody things, but I have them anyway. <laughs> I could upgrade my tailboard at Mum's actually to LED if I wanted to. I've got the lights. <laughs> anyway, yeah, as I was saying, please subscribe. It's free. It helps me. They're there for. Brain has stopped braining. Shall I, shall I start over? Shall I start the... Uh, 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 be, de, be, de, 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 yep. Maybe it's the medication I'm on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not editing this. So I'm going to leave it in. If it gives someone a laugh, then yay. Anyway, as I was trying to say, if you want to see more videos like this and perhaps see some more Timu stuff, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out. Helps out the channel, helps you follow me as well, and it's totally free. And of course, if you do decide to subscribe, please hit the little notification bell icon thingy. Um, that way you will definitely get a notification every time I upload a video, according to YouTube. I beg to differ on that one, because I miss loads of videos from my favourite channels I'm subbed to. But anyway... Um, also, if you check the video description down below the video here, it'll be somewhere there. Um, I'll have links to my other two YouTube channels. I've got one for gaming, one for Lego. And the Discord server. Feel free to hop over there and have a chat with us. And uh, my Twitch channel. And I've got a webcam. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.